I do drawings in order to be certain that I am here. <laughs> it's kind of an existential exercise. My name is Kara Walker. I concentrate, um, I guess, graphically with the uh, you know, drawing as the main medium, but my main focus has uh, to do with identity, with the intersections of race, gender, nationality, place, uh, histories, stories, mythologies, jokes, riddles, and um, paradoxes. So this is an exhibition uh, of my work titled A Black Hole is Everything a Star Longs to Be. And it's a kind of an excavation of my work from archives, from boxes, and and works that I hadn't seen over, I guess, a 28-year period, which sounds absurd, but there are a few drawings in here from at least the very early 90s. The black hole sort of reoccurs in my work in different forms. Um, first, verbally, as you know, the uh, the paradoxical hole, which is an emptiness, and a hole with the W, which is a fullness. You know, it has a sexual overtone, obviously, but it's also about this cosmic kind of an existential kind of space, it's, and it's also about blackness, and it's also about blackness in the sort of white colonial landscape, a kind of a non-being or a non-entity. The groups of work in themselves constitute a kind of a larger work, and then the ex exhibition itself is a large work. <laughs> you know, I just think of it as kind of a, a work in itself, where you move through these different passages of, of time, of thought, of of humor and of rage and of stasis and of uncertainty and blandness or emptiness or uh, silliness and sometimes all at the same time. <laughs> I did a, a series of drawings of Barack Obama, thinking about all of the caricatures and characterizations, mischaracterizations that have abounded in the time of his, uh, you know, ascendancy to the presidency and beyond. The feeling of loss and also just the feeling of anger that the country that I lived in would take such a hard turn to the right. They're not exactly exact, you know, I just wanted to sort of get it out there, the positive negative, you know, <laughs> for some aligned with greatness, others aligned with savagery, you know, the next image is just the hope that's fading in the dark clouds. The next image is the beleaguered saint and the next is just getting your revenge very nicely, very upstandingly and with a great deal of sadness. <laughs> I do sometimes refer to historical events, and I do also sometimes mix that up with stories, narratives, and fictions that have that permeate the culture. I just started to think about the all the unknowns that live within the stories that we tell ourselves, where we come from, or who we are. Like in general, the the myth making, the the kind of like storytelling, the lies. The, and the lies that led to bloodshed and the sort of persistence of those lies as they kind of seep into the body, you know, as they seep into how you're interacting and how people are interacting with me and, and how I recognize myself to be uh, different than what they were seeing. So thinking about history and making art, I had to really kind of take into account, do I want to be a real historian or do I want to be an amateur historian who has misread or only only read what she wants to read in order that it supports her argument for legitimacy. And I think when you start making art, you're you know, trying to wiggle between everybody's versions of the truth to find this thing that is the, the most true thing. It's like, I'm sitting here now doing this line. You know, there's no denying that. <laughs> Thank you.
So as a woman, as an African-American, as an Afro-American woman artist, as an artist, uh, as an amateur historian, as a person who likes to draw, uh, as a person who likes to write, uh, as a person who just is, I think all of the work, especially as you move through it in this exhibition, but also exploring the other work that I've done, like it's the aggregate of it, the it's the whole of it that starts to create. I mean, it's it's all those interactions happen here, they happen there. It resonates in the in-betweens. It resonates in the spaces, this kind of undulating sort of process of sort of reading and feeling that those aspects of oneself. And I think as a viewer, I mean, I don't know as a viewer what happens exactly. I know as myself what happens, but I would hope that um, it would open up the sense of those possibilities within oneself to view oneself as the kind of as as this kind of clay that's being that is shaped and reshaping. <laughs> <laughs>